What's going on guys, I'm back with another video. In this video, I'll be talking about five key things you guys need to remember heading into the August SAT math section. So as you all know, the August SAT, today is the 26th, so it's in three days, all right? And I know it's like around this time that people, some people really like actually start studying, which is even pretty bad. You should've been studying like a week ago. I mean, like a couple months ago or a month ago. But um, yeah, some people are now cramming in as much as they can. And even the ones who've been studying, you know, they're still trying to study as much as possible in these last few days. Always a day before the SAT, guys, don't study too hard. You know, keep it very light so your mind is not, you know, drained and taxed heading into the SAT. But here are some five key things I want you guys to remember heading into the August math section for the SAT. So, yeah, the first thing. All right. And these things have been covered in some of my videos, not all of them. But, uh, you know, this is a, this video is meant to collect all of them into one thing so you guys can look at it. The first thing you guys need to remember is negative A over B, okay? Uh, try to pause the video and try to remember exactly what this trick is supposed to do for each of the tricks, each of the five tricks I talk about or five tips I talk about. Try to remember what the purpose is. If you don't, then and you're learning it for the first time, then just watch. If you have 3x minus 5y equals 8 and you're trying to find the slope, what you could do is negative a over b so negative 3 over negative 5 equals 3 over 5. that is the slope in this case all right and the, the long way of doing this would just be um, negative 5y is equal to negative 3x plus 8 you divide everything by negative 5 again slope is 3 fifths this is a faster way of getting the slope when the equation is in standard form so it saves a lot of time and you guys need to know this. The second one, this is probably what I'm most known for, I feel like, is negative B over A. So you have X squared plus 10X plus uh, 31. If the question asks you, what are the sum of the solutions of this equation? Just do negative B over A. So you have negative 10 over one equals negative 10. So the answer is negative 10. Um, the next trick. This is whenever you're ever, ever, ever asked to find a linear equation, all right? Sometimes the problem may give you like a graph and you have two lines and ask what's the slope of the second line. And you're going to have to find the slope of the first line and uh, put into the y uh, point slope form. And yeah, and then you're going to have to find the equation of the second line using the slope of the first line and probably be perpendicular or parallel, something like that. Regardless, whenever you're trying to find the equation of the line, whenever that's the objective, you always want to use y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. All right, always use this, guys. This is your best friend. Remember this by heart. Practice this. Be able to do any problem that's in this form within like two seconds, all right? That is your biggest friend on the math SAT. So linear, linear equations is tested the most. So knowing that formula and knowing how to use it, when to use it, and how to use it fast, that will help you so much when it comes to time on the math SAT in both non-calc and calc. The next thing, this is for circles. You see this on calc or non-calc. Arc length over circumference is equal to inner angle. Wow, look at that handwriting. Over 360. So give you a circle, right? Oh, okay. Let's do that. This is the inner angle, so I A, A B. So this say is a pi over three, right? Say the inner angle. It asks you find the inner angle, so find x, right? Um, say the circumference. Say the radius is one, so that means the circumference is uh, two pi. So you have pi over three, okay? Pi over three divided by two pi equals x over three sixty. This will tell you, all right, now find x. So to find the inner angle, this is what you do. Arc length or circumference equals inner angle of 360. Simplify the left side. So you get 1 over 6. Um, it's equal to x over 360. 6 times 60 equals 360. 1 times 60 equals x. So it equals 60. So x equals 60. Bang. Remember that. What is that? That's 4. All right, one last thing, guys. This is another big one. All right, this is actually pretty easy. But a lot of people just don't recognize this fast enough. Well, they'll take too much time to recognize this. And, you know, time is everything on the SAT, guys. 
A squared minus B squared. Factor this right now. Boom, boom. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. If you were not able to tell me the answer within those five seconds, you have not mastered this, guys. This is equal to A plus B, A minus B. Remember this, all right? Or A minus B, A plus B, whatever way you want to do it. You have to remember this by heart. Recognize any problem in this form. You see 100x squared minus 25. Boom. What Factor this right now. 10x minus 5, 10x plus 5, right? That's the factor form because 10 times 10, 100x squared. The middle terms cancel out. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. You have to remember this by heart. Be able to distribute quickly. Be able to um, factor quickly in this form. This will help you so, so much. A lot of problems use this, but they'll never ask you factor this. This will be a part of a problem. And if you're able to recognize it, it'll make the problem so much simpler. The most complicated problems, when broken down into their fundamentals, can be uh, solved using this if this you know applies to the situation. If it's like quadratics, a lot of these quadratic problems you face, can this can somehow help you? So remember that. And these five things, all right, these five things, I'm gonna make a whole list right now. Negative A over B, one. Negative B over A, two. Uh, point slope form, three, uh, arc length, so arc out. over circumference equals x over 360. And the last one, a squared minus b squared equals a plus b, a minus b. These five things, remember this, guys. And remember how to apply them, too. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, dude. Peace out, dude. Good luck, guys, on your SAT for August. 1600, pretty easy. You got it. Peace.